What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Zephyr and I have a freaking battle for you today. This is a rather weird and annoying battle to say the least. This is against this dude named Wakaman and let's get into it right about to now it should be starting. And I'm going to start from a hitmon top, he's going to start from a Steelix. Now I'm going to fake out just because I want to break the 30A and B, try to prevent it from setting up rocks because that would be like the most crucial thing and um... Yeah, I go for close combat thinking, okay, I can kill this thing because it doesn't have 30. It lives with like 32 HP, not even 32 HP, 38 percent after lefties. So now I'm like, okay, I have to go out to my Magius because I know he's probably going to want to go for like freaking Stealth Rock or something. But he actually switches out to his own Miss Magius. So I'm like, ha, that's funny. So I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. And he gets a freaking crit. Of all the things, he gets a crit on Shadow Ball. But you know what I get? I get a freaking 68%. So I go into Needle King here just to go for Sludge Wave. I didn't think Poison wasn't very effective on Ghost types. That's new news to me because I know Miss Magnus is solely a Ghost type. It's not a Poison type. The only Ghost Poison type is Gengar, Ghastly, and Haunter. So he brings in Steelix here because Steelix is part Ground type, so he does resist the Poison move. So I'm gonna go into my Hitmon top here. Try to scare him out with the mock punch, but he's gonna drag into me right back out into my Needle King. So I'm like, okay, this is actually an opportunity because now I can go for Earth Power and knock you out. Don't have to worry about that Steelix any longer. So Steelix is down, and now he's gonna send that Miss Magius, knowing I can't do anything. And he probably knows I'm scarfed as well because I, well, I only was locked into my move, obviously. So I'm gonna go into my Kingdra right here. I'm gonna try to scare him out with the Waterfall, which I actually do end up going for. It doesn't even scare me out. I was gonna go for it anyway, but. Since this polyrap is in, I'm like, okay, I'm going to play with this polyrap a little bit. I'm going to scout out to see what kind of polyrap it is, A. And B, I'm also going to try to set up a whole bunch of Dragon Dance before I just try to go. So I'm going to speed this part up a little bit because it's actually a bit of a stall with me setting up Dragon Dances and him going for Rock Slide and I rested. So I'm going to go for Dragon Dance and he's going to keep going for Rock Slide. I'm going to set up one more D-Dance and I believe that's it. So let's change this back to normal. So now... Um, he's gonna go for Rock Slide, and I'm gonna knock him out. Oh, no, I don't knock him out with the Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls actually did less than last time, which is funny to me. But he's gonna switch out Polygraph now and go into his Porygon Z. At plus three, even if this Porygon Z was Scarfed, I outspeed it no matter what. So, two Dragon Pulses, easily able to take out this Porygon Z. So, in comes the Levani. So, I'm like, I'm gonna go for Dragon Balls. It does a good chunk, but unfortunately this thing is going to take me off x I don't even know what tier Levani is, to be honest. I mean, it could be anything. I don't know. I don't keep up with tiers all that much. But I'm going to bring my hit on top to scare him out with the possible Stone Edge, which I was about to go for, but I was like, no way, I should go for Fake Out. But then I was like, oh, I should have went for the freaking Stone Edge, like I should have. So, in comes Polyrap. It's going to take a little bit of damage from this freak. Sorry, ignore that. That's some stupid paper in the background, but... Um, I'm able to knock it out with the Mach Punch, so that's like three threats down the drain. And now he brings in his Levani, I guess, thinking that I'm Scarf. I was just afraid that I was at a low enough HP where this thing could kill me. So, after Rocks, um, he's going to go for Leaf Blade, and it's not going to do anything to my Arcanine at all. My Growlithe, and fearing the extreme speed for him being so fragile, I guess he's going to go onto his Houndoom, or just fearing the fire move in general. But, and he ends up, I end up accidentally giving it to his Houndoom, who's going to greatly appreciate the Fire Blast. So, now I have to think, because now I just made this Houndoom a very, very big threat to my team. So, I'm going to go for Extreme Speed, because it's the only thing I could do. I mean, unless he had missed the Fire Blast, I could have knocked him out, but other than that, no. So, I'm going to go for the Fake Out here, trying to freaking kill this Houndoom, but unfortunately, I can't. So, I'm like... The next best thing I can do is go for Stone Edge next turn and just see what happens. So, he's going to actually outspeed me, I guess, confirming my thoughts of him being a timid nature. And kill me for Psychic. And I want to send a Needle King, basically, hope, freaking hoping I can kill this thing. I knew I should have went for Shadow Ball. I knew it, but I just figured anything he brings in, it would either be super effective or not very super effective on the Hound Dude. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to risk it all. My last poke, Shaman. Shaman, do your thing. I knock him out with the Hidden Power Ice. He's going to send in Levani, I guess, trying to outspeed me, but I am a max speed, max special attack, a little bit of special defense instead of HP, so I am able to survive that X Scissor and take out the Levani. Now, he, what he probably was thinking is, I'm going to go straight for the Earth Power. No, sir, I am not. 
because now I'm going to put you to sleep with that grass whistle. I know grass whistle is very, very uncommon on Shaman, but I find it very useful in UU with all those pokes that have sucker punch because then you can render them useless. So uh, basically I just kill them with the earth power and that's going to be game. So thank you for watching this battle. If you did enjoy this battle, you can always hit the like button because that helps a lot of people see my videos and that helps me and my channel. And you can also subscribe bleh, bleh, subscribe to my channel and that's also greatly appreciated. Anyway, I will see you guys next time when I record because I am rambling now. Peace.